Hey church, this is day three of our focus prayer and fasting devotions. We're calling the church to be intentional with these 10 days leading up to Fresh Wind by focusing your heart and your spirit on drawing closer to God. Um, man, I've already been challenged the first two days already by these devotions. So I want to read to you Acts chapter 3 verses 19 and 20 says, Repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord, and that he may send the Christ who has been appointed for you, even Jesus. And God's word says that there's going to be times of refreshing that's going to come uh, to those who repent and are saved. Um, notice God doesn't say that these hard times are going to just magically go away. But he does say that, man, as as we draw near to him, as we repent and turn from our sin, there's going to be times of refreshing of this revival, of this outpouring of his Holy Spirit on his faithful followers. But I do want to point out something to you, is that something needs to happen first, and that is repent. And I know on day one, Pastor Austin shared a bit about this, of repenting. Um, but it is so important to understand, church, that we need to repent and turn to God. Uh, repenting isn't feeling sorry for what I did. Repenting isn't apologizing for uh, because I got caught. Uh, true repentance is this. It's admitting that what God says is true. And because it's true, I need to change my mind and my actions and my attitudes about my sin. I need to turn from my sin. And man, when we do this, when I do this, the Bible says that our sins are wiped away and that times of refreshing come. And that, that sounds amazing. So today, um, repent. Confess to Jesus. Um, confess that his way is true and right and the best way. Uh, draw near to Jesus through prayer and through the Bible and reading God's word. Uh, and, and the Bible says that times of refreshing will come. Uh, when that happens, he pours out his spirit. He refreshes your your soul, your your spirit. He fills you up once again. And this happens like nothing else can. There's nothing else in this world that can fill us up and refresh us the way that God's presence and God's spirit truly can. And so I encourage you, let's take these steps of repenting, of turning away from our sin and allowing the time of refreshing to fill us up. We need that. We need a time of refreshing, both personally, but also in our world. We need God's spirit to be poured out and uh, to, to see salvation take place. So today, would you take time, sit in his presence, and let him refresh you and fill you up? So would you pray with me? God, thank you for today. Thank you for this opportunity that we have to spend time with you and uh, i pray that you would help us god open up our eyes to see the areas of sin and areas that we are um, falling short of of what it is that you want us to do and live by um, reveal that to us in in the only gentle way that you can but i pray that you give us the strength to turn from it and um, when that happens god we're, we're excited and know that man, times of refreshing will come. So for the person that is needing that, would you refresh them today? Would you fill all of us up with your Holy Spirit? Revive our hearts, God. Revive the hearts of our, our nation and of our world. Lord, draw people to you. Um, but man, would you do a, a great, um, great deal of refreshing in our hearts today? In your powerful name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, I'm looking forward to fresh winds. I um, encourage you to mark it down on your calendar, clear your calendar. It is June 5th through the 8th. You can get all the details on the website, but look forward to seeing you soon.